What's going on guys, Kyle here with Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be doing part 2 of how to make a city theme from scratch. In the first part I talked about how you set it up, all the applications you need, and basically getting started, the very very simple basics. Um, now in this part I'm going to be talking about the Photoshop stuff, so if you haven't seen part 1, there'll be a link in the description, so go ahead and check that out and then come back to this part. But this part is going to be showing you guys how to set up the Photoshop part of it, how to set up the um, what icon and size, and everything else like that. So first off, um, in Photoshop, what you can do is a little trick actually, is instead of going to Photoshop and creating it entirely from scratch, instead of doing it like measuring out the exact dimensions of the icon, um, the all that stuff, the gradients and all that, all you have to do is really go into your phone, back into Cyberduck here, go into your phone, go to var, scroll down until you see stash, then go to themes, and then if you've downloaded the city theme, um, I just downloaded Bloom HD, what you can do is you can go into this theme, and there's, or it's really any theme, but the theme has to have a PSD folder in it. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Bloom HD does, so you can get that. Um, but once I actually have a video on my channel of that if you want to check that out. But once you have that, you double click on the PSD folder, which stands for Photoshop. Double click on the App Store one, and this will basically bring up his. Um, you can download it here. Um, just click allow. And it'll basically sh um, show all the Photoshop work that he did for this icon. You can see here, if I open it up into Photoshop, um, now we don't need any of this. So this is basically the Photoshop icon that he has, all the work that's put into it and stuff like that. Obviously I'm not going to use this exact icon just because that's, you know, it's copyright, it's his icon, he made it. But what you can do is you can take the basics, the basic of this, basically the, um, the, uh, the mask and all that other stuff. The, the stuff that's really a pain in the, in the ass to measure, um, all that kind of things. Basically, you can just take that. So all you have to do is you want this bases color here, this folder right here that says bases. These are basically the colors that you can choose. How it's set up is you click a color. Let's say that I want this color. You click this color here. You can see it's now changed to this color. And then you click, you enable whatever. Um, you set it up so that you just simply click what icon you want and then it brings up that color. So if I wanted Evernote to be green, which it is, you simply uncheck this, uncheck that blue. Remember, any any layer that's on top will be the one showing, so you want it, um, I'll just do this one, or this one even, this is, that's the note, that could be the icon for Evernote. Basically, that's what you're gonna be using, but, so what you wanna do is you wanna take, I'll just put this so you can see it, you wanna take the basis folder, so keep the basis, this is the gradient, base gradient. You can take this out because that's part of his that's part of his actual theme there. And you'll see this layer is locked. Once again, you need some prior Photoshop knowledge. I'd say medium to advanced, but basically just unlock it. Um, you can delete that whole area um, that this one. It's not deleting for some reason. Probably, oh yeah, there's this layer is locked too. Sorry about that, but basically you can just delete this base gradient because that has nothing to do with um, with our icon here. You can delete these App Store apps. And then the top layer effects, if you, you can unlock this one as well. Basically, this is gonna be the border. This is the mask, which basically says, um, see the, the little edges there that pop up when I, um, when I click this? Basically, this says that anything outside of these edges is not there. So when you edit, when you take the, um, when you export the icon, these little edges, anything past this will not be there. So that's pretty much, it's pretty much, it's very simple. You can keep the brightness if you want, but you can keep this whole folder and bases full. This is what we're gonna be starting out with. I'll just take out this so you guys can really see. Um, here, wait. Sorry, I'll just make it a little bit bigger for you guys. So this is what the, once again, anything in here, if you couldn't see, this is not there. Anything outside of it isn't there. Um, okay, so yeah, so this is the layer itself. So now all you have to do really to make your icons is set up your, um, however you want to, you, you have to have an idea for how to make the icons, like what you want. But what you can do, like let's say that you want, um, let's say that I'm going to start with just the music app. So I'll do a new window. And you basically, all you have to do is really just type in um, what what type of icons you want. So if you want the um, the music icon like I do, you just simply type in music icon. Oh, I spelled that wrong. You just type in music icon or um, iPod icon, and you can just take any one of these pretty much. Um, let's just go with, actually I'm gonna do iPod icon because I think I'll come up better with that. But basically just look, 
um, look for an icon that you like. Like I'll just take um, this one for example. You can do view original image. Actually, that one's no good. You want one that's really. Um, here, let me find one real quick, guys. Sorry about this. Probably could have done this beforehand, but whatever. I'll do it now. Just find an icon that you think will look good. Um, replacing it because you want it to be pretty different, like, especially if you want to sell it on Cydia. You want it to be different so that people will um, buy it, but you also don't want it to be want it to be too different to the place where people don't actually know what they're looking at. They can't figure out what the icon is. They can't find it. It's confusing, um, etc. Basically, I'll just take, just for the purpose, like obviously I wouldn't do this, but I, I'll just take this one. You want one that'll be easy to cut out in Photoshop. So basically just drag this into Photoshop. Just subtract that. Drag this into Photoshop here and unlock it first off. There's it's unlocked. And then all you have to do really is select what you want, um, what you want here. This I want this whole iPod, so I wanna select that. And if you hold shift and click again, it'll, um, it'll highlight this part as well. So now once you have that, just Command C to copy it. Go back over here, do um, create a new folder. We'll just call this folder icons. Once you're in icons, um, just simply copy it onto a new layer here. Now it'll look kind of weird at first because it's really magnified and all that, but I'll shrink it down in a second. Um, we'll just label this iPod and then go into image or click on, make sure you've selected the layer, click edit, transform, scale, and then hold shift while you're doing this so that it keeps the original shape. Otherwise it would get all weird and warped. And then basically just subtract it down until it's about the size of the icon. I'll just make this whole thing smaller a little bit so we get a sense of how it'll look. Um, obviously this is not a great icon just because it's a little blurry. But we'll just use this icon for this purpose. You can use the arrow keys to get um, exact measurements from side to side, so make sure it's centered and all that. But basically, you simply take the icon just like that, and then you can add all your effects to it once you're in here. Just double click on the right hand side of it. Um, and you can add a bunch of stuff, like you could do a drop shadow if you wanted, that makes it a little bit crisper. Inner shadow, if you wanted to do it inset, you'll see this makes it look inset which is what my kind of theme is going for. You can do outer glow, inner glow, basically just mess around with these settings, uh, build and boss. Drop shadow is pretty cool for this. I'll just do, um, I'll just do size five, distance can be um, eight. And if you wanna get a little angle on it, you can go um, like that. We'll just do 50, angle is, the f angle is 50. I'll actually do size three, no, two, five, um, distance we can do four now we'll do six yeah um, so basically just mess around with it until you get something that you like you can even change the opacity a little bit of it so it's not too harsh which makes it look kind of cool um, I personally think this is really cool now if you don't like these guidelines for some reason you can actually move them if you want to they, they're pretty useful just because they help you but just to show you guys what the um, what it'll look like because they're a little distracting I'll just take this out for now because it doesn't really matter but you really want to use those when you're making the theme itself just because it helps you center it and all that stuff because your eyes can't really tell exactly how centered it is. So once you have this um, once you have this right here, this is pretty much how you're going to set it up for all your all your photos or your sorry not your photos, your icons. Once again, I can change this to make it that orange color that the iPod is. But basically what you do is once you have this icon, you've set this all up this is the icon this is, we'll just delete this. But this is the icon itself. Now what you want to do, once you have this icon, we're going to create a folder, which will be um, where you put all the icons in. So just click there, make a new folder. You can title it um, theme, doesn't really matter. Now once you're in theme here, once you're in the theme itself, the folder, you have to, you have to label everything exactly as I label it because the phone reads it a certain way. Now what you're going to want to do here is everything has a specific name. Every icon has a name and a bundle folder, basically, that um, the phone recognizes it by. So once you're in the theme here, go ahead and make a new folder, call it bundles. Sorry, spell that wrong. Bundles, um, capital B. So bundles, and then once you're in bundles, um, I'm actually going to cut over to something where I'm going to show you guys how you know the names, the exact names of each icon. So I'll go ahead and show you that on the phone right now. Okay, so once you're in your phone here, go to Cydia. That is Cydia, not the App Store. Go to Cydia and download an app called App Info. I'll put that in the description. 
And basically here are all of your non-standard apps, basically the apps that you've downloaded from the app store. Now, if you wanna know the name for the exact, the bundle folder, what the folder is gonna be called, and then the icon named in there, go ahead and tap on it and it'll show you the ID next to ID right there. It'll say com.ebay.iphone. That is what you name the resulting folder. And then once you've made that folder, inside that folder, you'll put the actual icon itself in a, J or a PNG form, and it'll be called icon underscore 57 by 57. You have to name it that exact thing. I'll show you guys, um, so I'll show you guys that on the computer. Now that's how you change any non-standard app, an app that you download from the App Store. If you wanna change an app, that stock app that comes with your phone, go to the bottom there where it says Springboard, click on that, and then go to um, System right there with a the little Apple symbol. symbol. <laughs> and then the, here are all your um, your standard apps. You can basically click on any of these. You see there's iTunes, um, Messages, Music, and it'll tell you the folder for that. Um, I'll show you what the, um, the icon name is in a second here. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you find that out. And then I'll go ahead and switch back to the computer and show you guys how to make those folders right now. Okay, so once you have the names of the apps that you want to, um, the ones that you want to make, in this case I'm making the iPod one, basically go to File, Save As, go to Desktop, your theme here, this is Theme, go into Bundles, you can click New Folder, or you can make this folder beforehand, and as we've learned, it's com.apple.mobile, mobile, iPod, so it's labeled exactly like that. Once again, you can see that from um, the app info by Miles. It's a very useful app, especially if you're making a theme. It's actually a necessity. Now, once you've made this folder, inside this folder, um, it didn't say that on the app info, but any any standard application is going to have the same icon name. So what you want to do is go up here, and it's going to be called icon at two times or two x, and that's the at symbol like in um, at gmail.com or an email address, something like that. It's going to be the exact name, icon, all lowercase, at two times, or 2x. And then it's going to be, instead of JPEG, click on JPEG and go to PNG. It's going to be a PNG file. Every single one's going to be, every stock application is going to be named this. And a couple non-stock non, um, ones too, or non-standard ones, whatever way, however you want to say it. But this is going to be how you name every single icon. So once you've done that, just click Save. Click OK here. And then make sure you go to your theme here. Here's bundles, once again, go into bundles, there's com.apple.mobile iPod, and here's icon at two times.png. Once again, most of, um, just a quick tip, most of the um, stock apps or the standard apps are actually gonna be com.mobile, or com.apple.mobile, whatever it is. So com.apple.mobile um, iPod, com.apple.mobile phone, that's the one for phone, and it goes on and so forth, um, so on and so forth. But once again, anything in the mobile iPod or com.apple.mobile, whatever, it's going to be pretty much, it's just going to be icon at two times.png, unless app info by Miles says something else, just go by that. But it's mostly going to be this right here. It's going to be all your standard ones. It's really going to be the only ones you're working with, unless you're creating a serious theme with some non standard ones, in which case it'll be completely different and it gets really complicated. But I think this is where I'll leave it off, guys. That's basically, we just made our first icon. This is the iPod icon. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it looks kind of cool, actually. But yeah, that's how you make it. That's how you make the icons themselves. That's how you set it up. I'll continue this later, just showing you guys more in depth of how to do it. Maybe go over it once more time with a different icon just so you guys really get it because it's really confusing. Um, I'm pretty bad at explaining this, but I hope you guys got it anyway. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave it a like and a share. It really means a lot, guys, and I put a lot of time into this. It's actually way harder to explain than you think. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. And other than that, see you guys later.